on 10th October 2020 the church beatified a young vibrant saint a saint who loved journeys computers and mobiles a saint who spent time with social media a saint who wore jeans t-shirts and cooling glass though he lived only for a few years he made most of it as a catholic his name is blessed carlo acutis he was born in 1991 in italy in an ordinary catholic family he loved football and trekking but he was very serious about his life and remained close to his best friend jesus christ he never missed holy mass daily he went to the church to attend the holy mass he never missed an opportunity to give jesus to speak about mary and rosary to his friends and family daily he recited the holy rosary he spent time with jesus in the blessed sacrament he was a computer wizard and used his skills to spread the word of god through internet he started a website in order to spread devotion to the holy eucharist by showing to the world the various eucharistic miracles that took place around the globe thus he became a missionary from his room he spent time in playing football dancing and studying he suffered from leukemia he offered his sufferings and pain for the catholic church for holy father and for his own journey to heaven carlo had predicted his death few months before which was recorded sono destinata a morire He went to meet his best friend Jesus in heaven on 12th October 2006. On the day of his funeral the church and the cemetery were packed with people many of whom were homeless and Carlo had helped them without the knowledge of his family. News of his holy life started to spread quickly around the world and soon his cause of canonization was introduced. Pope Francis declared Carlo a venerable on July 5th, 2018 and in his apostolic exhortation Christus vivit declared him to be an example for the youth across the world. He showed us that an ordinary person like each one of us can become a saint. He showed us that we can be missionary from our own houses and our rooms. His beatification took place in Assisi where he was buried according to his wish near the saint he loved most, Saint Francis of Assisi. A person with faith knows that even the death of a son isn't the end of everything. That for that son it's the beginning of life. That's why I'm facing my son's death as I should, as a Christian, knowing that Carlo is very happy with the Lord. It's not that I spend all my time crying and saying, "Oh God, my son." I know Carlo led a wonderful life, that he's waiting for all of us. I hope I don't end up in purgatory, but if I do, my son will come and free me. I'm confident that his intercession will be powerful.